Hello and welcome to Capacity TV. My name is Saf Malik, reporter at Capacity Media. We're here live at I2W 2023 and I'm delighted to, to be joined by Sahel Kadir, CEO of a new joint venture between Omanto and Zane Group called Zoe. Thank you for joining us today, Sahel. Thank you, Saf. Nice to meet you. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about Zoe and what kind of sets it apart from other companies that are doing the same thing in the space? So, Zoe is basically a joint venture between uh, Oman uh, an incumbent operator from Oman, uh, having a wholesale business uh, since last almost 15 years now, and Zen Group, which is a predominantly a mobile operator uh, across the Middle East and in Africa. So have they, we've got around seven operations in, in Zen, obviously in operation in Oman. So we basically, both Omantel and Zen are also an associate company. So Omantel owns 22% stake in Zen Group. So this was the best time that we merge our wholesale business into, into a company. Uh, Omantel being a wholesale provider in the region since last 15, 17 years, having investment of close to a billion dollars in submarine cable systems, whereas Zen being a 54 million or 55 million subscriber base, buying most of the wholesale services from the market. So that was the best deal that Omantel and Zen can aggregate their business into one. So Zoe is basically, let's put it this way, the creation of synergies between two big groups. And what we are doing is we are carve out the wholesale business unit in Omantel and in all the Zen Opcos and put it into a joint venture called Zoe. So this is what we are doing. Obviously, uh, today we are ranging between around $550 million revenue as a Zoe. And uh, this year, this is how we are going to deliver. And then next year, obviously, this will keep on growing. And this is where uh, Zoe came into being. And what kind of partnerships do you anticipate um, moving forward? See, on the partnership side, what I would say is uh, we already have business. So it's not we are creating a brand new company, it's a running business, right? Uh, we are partnered with most of the hyperscalers in the world. We are providing services on submarine cable systems uh, on, on, in Kuwait, in other countries, Jordan, Saudi Arabia being one of the biggest of Zen. We are in Bahrain, we are in Iraq. So we are in, 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 in places where the requirement of international connectivity from third parties, not, not the group only, but the third parties is very, very high. So the partnerships that we are looking at uh, is into data center field. We are already partnered with Equinix as uh, Omantel. We had a joint venture with, uh, with Omantel and Equinix and we delivered two data centers, deployed two data centers in Oman. We are hoping to extend this partnership into other countries as well. And plus we are looking for new partnership into investing in submarine cables, investing in uh, terrestrial routes into number of countries, predominantly Saudi Arabia and Oman. And we are also looking into partnership with some cloud companies. So there are a number of things that we are looking into, but just to make it very clear, it's a running business. It's a running business, which is huge for us. And we are making sure that we enter into new partnerships one by one and keep on delivering. And you primarily operate in the Middle East. Are there plans to expand beyond that region? Yes. Uh, so, well, we are a Middle East based wholesale operation but we don't deliver only in the Middle East. I would say 70 to 75% of our revenues that comes from outside the Middle East. So we provide services from Middle East to the global companies. And we go all the way to Marseille in, on France side because we own a company called Omantel, Inter Omantel France, which is a licensee in, in France and we land a cable system over there. We are now finalizing a plan to, own, uh, to operate another license in Italy. So we are expanding from Middle East and Africa, we are expanding into Europe. And uh, once we have established in Europe, most probably we'll go to the next level as well. And just finally, can you tell us about some of the products and services that you plan to roll out in the coming months? Well, the products and services that we are planning to roll out are basically, we are going into data centers. Uh, we are going into internet exchanges, so we will be deploying some internet exchanges. So the idea is that we will have data centers in all eight countries connected to each other. Each other. So we will be providing a local peering. If you're sitting in Jordan and you want to connect to someone in Saudi Arabia or in Iraq, you will have one network through the, those data centers to connect to each other. Uh, we are going into a mobility site. So we have launched, uh, very recently we have launched our SMS hub and we are also about to launch our uh, signaling hub. So once our signaling hub is there, obviously we will start offering uh, not only to ourselves, but to other companies as well. Uh, other than that, we are going into uh, some, uh, let's say, 
cloud-based services. We have partners on the cloud side and we will be offering those services to our clients as well. Sahel, it's a very exciting time for the company. We look forward to hearing more news in the future. Thank you, Thank you for much. joining us today. Thank you very much.